Hi, I'm Rich with Phil Peace Instruments and today I'd like to share a little information with you about pressure switches. Now a lot of you I, I have been asking me questions about can you recalibrate a fixed pressure switch, one that comes with the furnace. Well, remember that it is actually a fixed pressure switch. Those pressure switches usually have a wax coating on the inside where you can't really calibrate it unless you take the wax out or it's got silicon in it or something that, that it prevents you from doing this. There is a reason for that. It is already pre-calibrated and it came from the factory that way. Now that's not to say that it's not out of adjustment, but that is to say don't mess with that. Okay. Several reasons that I wouldn't recalibrate and a pressure switch that came with the furnace. Number one, if it's been in there a little bit, there are problems with that pressure switch. For instance, you could have a caked or coated diaphragm, you could have a crack or a hole in the diaphragm, or you could have a bad micro switch, or you could have something in the switch that is actually preventing the, the diaphragm from moving correctly. Uh, you could have a plugged bleed port or partially plugged bleed port. So do not try to recalibrate a, a fixed pressure switch that came with the furnace. Replace it. Now, that being said, we are not saying that you should take the adjustable pressure switches out there and go ahead and put a, um, an adjustable pressure switch in place of a warranty item. If it's in the middle of the night, that can get you through Come back the next day or whenever you can, go ahead, put the OEM pressure switch back in there. Okay, the other thing is adjustable pressure switches used to be in the past, it would be um, a mystery how to set it. It would be um, scary because people didn't trust them. Uh, a lot of companies didn't trust adjustable pressure switches because there really wasn't an accurate way to calibrate them. And sometimes some of the pressure switches sound like they were Greek. The instructions were really vague and not precise. Well with the DDSM-1 you can accurately, precisely calibrate an adjustable pressure switch. You can set it and leave it. You can set it, forget it. You can keep it in there forever. Okay. The other thing is, on a pressure switch, when one fails, it's not just because the pressure switch is creating that problem. Uh, there are multiple reasons why a pressure switch will go bad. And other than the fact that they, are, they could be caked on the diaphragm and coated on the diaphragm, and I'm going to show you one. On this one, this particular one right here, we went ahead and opened it up. and. What you'll see on the inside of this, let me go ahead and set the pieces down, is you'll see it's got a plastic piece and it actually has a very thin membrane. Okay, now this thin membrane can crack, as you can see, it, it can split. Yeah, it's silicon, but silicon doesn't last forever. Um, the other thing is you can get little holes in this. The flue gases are caustic and over a period of time will eat through just about anything. Um, a case in point, you could park your car right next to the exhaust of your furnace. That would be a really bad idea. It will eat the paint right off of there. It will cause a lot of damage. The diaphragm is no different. Just because it's made of silicon doesn't mean it's going to last forever. You could get holes, you could get cracks. The other thing is we were talking about the actual coating on this. Now on this one, I can show you, if you can see this, that there is an actual coating that is on this. Okay, I've been playing with this quite a bit and I've taken it out uh, and shown a lot of people. So you can see that it's kind of worn off, but if you can see that right there where there is some discoloration. There was quite a coating on that. Okay, so that coating causes this switch to behave differently. What it'll do is it'll weigh down one side. 
So when the, the furnace comes on, it actually still can pull a switch in, but not when it's supposed to. So it's out of calibration. Now, that being said, where did this coating come from? Now, I've had uh, some technicians say, well, you're creating a negative draft. How can this happen? Easily. You're creating a negative draft for the time being. When the furnace shuts off, what happens? It balances out. So it can suck some of that fumes and some of that moisture in there. And mostly, it's moisture. But that moisture contains the caustic chemicals that is in the fluid. Okay, so that being the case, this is just one example of one. Um, on that, I've opened this up and I'd like to show you the bleed port which is on this particular one. You now if you can see it's real tiny. If that plugs up or even partially plugs, what will happen is that will cause again the pressure switch to behave in a different manner. Now, can the inducer close the switch? Yes, it can. The pressure switch is designed as a safety device if there's not enough draft that it opens, not closes. With that being said, it must close within the parameters of the rating on the pressure switch. Now, I'm going to show you another one. This is a different style. And you can see on this one, uh, bleed port is located here. Now, that's, this bleed port's a little bit bigger. Okay, the reason being because of the design of the switch. Okay, what is the reason or the purpose of the bleed port? The bleed port is there to help regulate the amount of pressure that is required to shut that, that uh, switch, to close it, and to open it. Okay, the inducer, this is the inducer, will reach maximum draft within seconds. Okay, so it may, may be pulling uh, an inch and a half, two inches of draft or vacuum. What will happen is you've got a, a pressure switch here, and this one could be a 0 0.80 or 1.1, and then you have a pressure switch down here. On this particular furnace, we have two. One for the collector box, which is behind this, and the other one that hooks right into the inducer. Now, the one that goes to the collector box is, lo is, is lower. It's a 0 0.40 inches of water column pressure switch. Now, the, this one is uh, a 0.80 inches of water column pressure switch. The inducer actually pulls quite a bit of draft. So, if these were out of calibration, they would still, or could still, go ahead and close the switches and bring on the furnace.